welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be finishing the dragon's head. Now, there are some things you need to understand about the dragon's head. First of all, it's good to look at what other people have done. So here's some, some uh, pictures that I've got online from other articulated dragons. Okay, there's one right there. It's uh, different, looks a little bit like a deer. Notice the larger horns. And there are no supports here. They start off sm small, very thin, but then it works its way up. No supports at all, very important. This one, same thing. Thin, then larger as it goes up, and horns that are, or whatever, these spikes that are larger than everything else. And the eyes are a little bit different too. Okay, same thing here. This one's actually propped up, so it's hard to tell, but again, it's thinner at the bottom, works its way up, and these look like horns and these like spikes, but you get the idea. There is no one perfect way to make a dragon, but I will be showing you how to make a dragon that looks like mine. And secondly, what you should consider when making a dragon. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna use, and this is what I do recommend, you use a body um, piece that you've already made for a couple of reasons. One, it already has the basic design. But two, this is gonna fit into the body of, you know, which, that you've already made because it's designed to do that. So it's good in those two things. It already looks like, like the rest of the, the dragon and it will connect to the rest of the body. You know that for a fact. All right, so this is what you need. You need the bottom part of the dragon first. So I'm gonna use the half sphere and I'm going to make sure that it's aligned. So I'm going to click L. You could also click the align tool here. I'm going to make sure it's in the middle. Perfect. Now you're going to want to elongate this or make it longer. So here we go. And after I do that, I'm going to check again to make sure it's aligned. Actually, let's just wait for the end. I'm going to duplicate that, which is control D, or you could just click on that right there. Okay, this is gonna be the base of my dragon. Now over here I use three, but since making this, I've noticed that I, I would have made some changes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and align this. And there, now they're all aligned. What I wanna do now is I wanna make this a little bit lower because I want it to look like the bottom of a mouth. You see that? The bottom of a mouth. Now I'm gonna use a donut or a torus right around here. And the reason I'm choosing this one is because I'm gonna change the snap grid. I'm using this because it looks like a mouth. And so now I'm gonna to try to align it there. I'm gonna hit control and the up arrow to make it, oops, why is it, oh, command and the up arrow in, on the Mac. Try to make it go up a little bit. And I know I'm gonna be doing this a lot. So I'm gonna align, I'm gonna click the letter L and do this. Cause it's very important that uh, it is aligned. I'm gonna move that up. Or, sorry, I'm gonna click on the torus or the donut, move it forward a little bit. The reason I'm using the, the torus is because it starts off here and works its way up, which means it will not need any supports. And I'm gonna duplicate it as well and then move it back with the arrow keys. Is it going backwards? Oh, looked like it was going forward for a second. Just because I want to have some more texture. Do you see how it creates a texture there? But here's what I'm gonna do a little bit differently. I'm gonna make it 40. It gives it less texture here. I felt like it looked too much like donuts, whereas here, it'll look more natural. And in fact, let's just go ahead and add the color to this because I don't know, it just looks better when it's you know what you want. So I feel like this part's too big, so I'm gonna, or too forward, move it back a little bit. Oh, I'm moving everything back. Just the top part, okay. I'm gonna add some teeth. Now, obviously teeth, very easy to make. Um, what's the name of this shape? Paraboloid, I believe. Yep, paraboloid. I'm gonna rotate it and I want it to be 180. I'm gonna hit shift and shrink that. All right. Very important that this is touching the ground. So I'm gonna hit the letter D 
yep, it's touching the ground, but I don't like the way this looks. So I'm going to rotate it. A little. Actually, I'm going to make it skinnier. And then I'm going to rotate it. The numbers are not important because you're going for a look, not necessarily copying mine, but you're going for a look. And I'm showing you how to get a look, not the look. So I'm just going to rotate this so that you don't see the top of it. There you go. So that's it. I rotate it in two different directions and you have what looks like a tooth. And I'm just going to duplicate this, control D. And then I'm going to click this button to make it rotate in that direction. All right. Now the next part I'm going to work on is the nose. The nose is going to be again, same shapes. Now, you don't have to put two separate nostrils like I'm about to do. You could just make one and have two holes in there or maybe none at all. Up to you, completely up to you. And to make the nostril, I'm going to use a cylinder. And yeah, let's move this over here. I'm going to hit shift and go straight down and then make that a little bit longer. Maybe, yeah, I'm going to hit shift and make it. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate. Let's get a little bit closer here. I'm gonna rotate this. There you go. And then move it up a little bit. Let's move it here. And then move it up again. Okay, so that's fine. I'm gonna group these two. Hit shift and select that one as well. I'm gonna group it. And there we go. I'm going to make that green just because it looks cool. And I'm going to duplicate it with control D or press that button. Then I'm going to rotate it so that it's the on the other side or facing the other way. And I'm just going to move it over a little. All right, that's looking better. All right, so now I'm going to add some part here to give it some, some heft because right now it looks kind of dorky. So I need, um, here I added three smaller ones. I'm just going to add, I think I might actually just duplicate this part right here. Control D, move it up and then move it forward. All right. That's not bad. Let me look at it from this angle. Ah, I like it. Now here's what I want you to see. Um, you could use three, you know, of these and just make them smaller because this is the look you could be going for. Looks almost like abs. If you just put little parts like that up to you, completely up to you. For me, I want there to be more of, or of an organic look. So I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to move it back. A very important part. You need to be careful that you do not, let's look at the back, interfere with the connection here in the back because then it'll be harder to uh, connect. And that's kind of like the point. It all has to be connected one way or another. So let's move back a little bit. Now the eyes, very important. Actually, I don't like the way this looks. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little sphere right there. Make that green. You do want the head. Here's an imp another important part. However you're designing it, you do want the head to be bigger than, than the rest of the body. You want it to just be the focal point essentially. And if it's smaller, it's not going to be the focal point. The rest of your body will be, uh, more interesting to look at. So very important that you add heft to it. And I'm just going to move that up. I wanted to go to that point right there. All right. That's looking better. Now the eyes here, I used uh, Taurus, the donut looking shape. Not really happy with the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another, I, I'm just going to use this sphere, duplicate it, control D, oops, and move it up and back, up, okay. Not bad, but let me put an eye on there. Mm, let's do this. I'm going to make it white just because it looks cool and white and duplicate or I'm going to shrink it. I'm hitting the shift button so it shrinks uniformly. 
All right. Now, when you're designing an eye, you have to decide whether you want to add an eyeball here. See, here's the thing. When you're 3D printing this, the eyeball may not be so visible if you just put a little dot there. What I did was in my design, I created a hole there. Now I'm going to go with a basic sphere. You could use others. You could put a triangle there. You could put any other shape in there to make it more distinct uh, or even angry up to you, really up to you how you want to do that. So let me see. How am I going to like, I'm going to move it down a little bit. Oops. Command. All right. I think I'm fine with this. I'm going to hit shift to select the white and the green and then group. I'm wondering how that's going to look because right now it looks kind of dorky, but I'm wondering when it's printed, if it's going to, going to look better. Let's see. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to rotate it so that it's, now the, um, the other side can be symmetrical. I think that's good right there. Now the horns that we used before, I think would be good to use again. Now, if you didn't use my horns perfectly fine, but I do suggest whatever horns you used before you use them this time. Oh, good. But the difference being you want to make them bigger. So I'm going to hit shift and there you go. I'm going to rotate it a little bit so they're not exact copies. Before I uh, duplicate it, move it to the other side, I want to make sure that it's uh, not sticking out here. But look, it is sticking out there, which means when you print it, it might fall down. So I'm going to click the arrow key down. Do you see how it's sticking out there? Very important that you check. Otherwise, you're going to have some supports that are going to or not supports, you're going to have uh, the filament print unevenly or with with no supports. And there's a good chance that uh, your print's going to fail. Not a good thing. All right. I'm going to move a little bit more and then move it up so that I don't see the red. And at the same time, this is touching. All right, cool. Now that I have that, I'm going to duplicate it. Whoa. Uh, Tinkercad anticipated what my next move would be, and that's wrong. So I'm just going to duplicate it again. I'm going to rotate it and move it with the shift right about there. I'm going to look in the back, make sure everything is good. All right, that's not bad. So essentially that right there is your dragon, your dragon's head. You do want to group it. And there's another thing, a very important part that you need to do. I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to group it. Okay. I'm just waiting for this to, uh, did it work? Let me try it again. Group. That's what I wanted. I think I pressed the wrong button. Here's the other thing. Actually, I think I would add some more things on the side just to make the head a little bit bigger. But what when this thing's done, what you should do is hit select and then your creation, create shape, wait for the picture to show up. In the meantime, you want dragon head and dragon head and tags dra dragon head comma sure let's uh give it multicolor multicolors on and save it now when I know, i'm not going to wait for this one to show up because it might take a while and i don't want you guys waiting you want to hit save shape once it shows up here you want to drag it and replace your dragon head. Why? Because for Tinkercad, these are a lot of shapes. And what happened here? Something erased part of this. I hope it's just a bug for right now. But here's the thing. If you have all these shapes, Tinkercad will not export your dragon or the head or everything else because it cannot handle that many shapes. So 
once your dragon head appears here, you'll want to drag it over and get rid of that. Make sure that you go through the process like you did with uh, putting the, the body together, that the rings are not touching when you connect the body to the head. Otherwise, you're going to have a very, uh, a very stiff head with a dragon body that's loose, and it's just going to, it's not going to look cool anymore. Alrighty, so that's it. Um, the next part of the video is going to be putting the legs together, and that will be it. You will have your complete dragon. So enjoy, and have a good one.